Hypertension, also known as high blood pressure, is a common medical condition that affects millions of people worldwide. It is a chronic condition that occurs when the force of blood against the walls of the arteries is consistently too high, leading to damage to the blood vessels and other organs in the body. Blood pressure is measured in millimeters of mercury, mmHg, and is expressed as two numbers, systolic and diastolic. Systolic pressure is the pressure in the arteries when the heart beats, while diastolic pressure is the pressure in the arteries when the heart is at rest. Normal blood pressure is around 120 80ths of a millimeter of mercury while hypertension is defined as having a blood pressure reading of 140 90 of a millimeter of mercury or higher. There are two types of hypertension, primary, essential, hypertension and secondary hypertension. Primary hypertension is the most common type and has no identifiable cause. Secondary hypertension, on the other hand, is caused by an underlying medical condition such as kidney disease or hormonal disorders. Hypertension often has no symptoms, which is why it is often referred to as the silent killer. However, over time, the high blood pressure can cause damage to the blood vessels and organs, leading to serious health complications such as heart disease, stroke, kidney disease, and vision loss. Risk factors for hypertension include age, family history, obesity, physical inactivity, smoking, excessive alcohol consumption, stress, and certain medical conditions such as diabetes and sleep apnea. Treatment for hypertension typically involves lifestyle changes such as a healthy diet, regular exercise, weight loss, and stress management, as well as medication if necessary. It is important to monitor blood pressure regularly and work with a healthcare provider to manage hypertension and prevent complications. Hypertension, commonly known as high blood pressure, is a chronic medical condition that affects millions of people worldwide. It occurs when the force of blood against the walls of the arteries is consistently high, leading to various health complications. There are several factors that contribute to the development of hypertension, including lifestyle choices, genetics, and underlying medical conditions. One of the most significant causes of hypertension is an unhealthy lifestyle. People who consume a diet high in sodium, saturated fats, and processed foods are at a higher risk of developing hypertension. Additionally, individuals who are physically inactive and overweight or obese are also more likely to develop hypertension. These lifestyle factors can lead to the accumulation of plaque in the arteries, which can cause them to narrow and increase blood pressure. Genetics also play a role in the development of hypertension. People with a family history of hypertension are more likely to develop the condition themselves. This is because certain genes can affect how the body regulates blood pressure. For example, some genes can cause the kidneys to retain more sodium, which can lead to an increase in blood pressure. Underlying medical conditions can also contribute to the development of hypertension. For example, people with diabetes or kidney disease are at a higher risk of developing hypertension. This is because these conditions can damage the blood vessels and kidneys, leading to an increase in blood pressure. Other factors that can contribute to the development of hypertension include stress, smoking, and alcohol consumption. Chronic stress can cause the body to release hormones that increase blood pressure. Smoking and alcohol consumption can also damage the blood vessels and lead to an increase in blood pressure. 
In conclusion, hypertension is a complex medical condition that can be caused by a variety of factors. Unhealthy lifestyle choices, genetics, and underlying medical conditions can all contribute to the development of hypertension. Understanding the causes of hypertension is essential for developing effective prevention and treatment strategies. Sure. Here's a script about five good foods for hypertension. 1. Leafy greens. Leafy greens like spinach, kale, and collard greens are rich in potassium, which can help lower blood pressure. They also contain nitrates, which can help relax blood vessels and improve blood flow. 2. Berries. Berries like blueberries, strawberries, and raspberries are high in flavonoids, which have been shown to improve blood pressure and reduce inflammation. They're also low in calories and high in fiber, making them a great snack option. 3. Oily fish. Oily fish like salmon, mackerel, and sardines are high in omega-3 fatty acids, which can help reduce inflammation and improve blood vessel function. They're also a good source of protein and other nutrients. 4. Garlic. Garlic has been shown to have a modest effect on reducing blood pressure. It contains compounds that can help relax blood vessels and improve blood flow. It's also a versatile ingredient that can be added to many dishes. 5. Dark chocolate. Dark chocolate contains flavanols, which can help improve blood vessel function and lower blood pressure. It's also a delicious treat that can satisfy a sweet tooth without adding too many calories. In summary, leafy greens, berries, oily fish, garlic, and dark chocolate are all good foods for hypertension. They contain nutrients and compounds that can help improve blood pressure and overall cardiovascular health. 1. Processed meats. Processed meats like bacon, sausage, and deli meats are high in sodium and saturated fats. These can contribute to high blood pressure and increase the risk of heart disease. 2. Canned foods. Canned foods are often high in sodium, which can increase blood pressure. Additionally, the canning process can cause the loss of important nutrients, making these foods less healthy overall. 3. Sugar. Consuming too much sugar can lead to weight gain, which is a risk factor for high blood pressure. Additionally, high sugar intake can lead to insulin resistance, which can also contribute to hypertension. 4. Fried foods. Fried foods are often high in unhealthy fats and calories, which can lead to weight gain and contribute to high blood pressure. Additionally, the frying process can create harmful compounds that can increase inflammation in the body. 5. Alcohol. Drinking too much alcohol can raise blood pressure and increase the risk of heart disease. Additionally, alcohol can interfere with blood pressure medications and make them less effective. Hypertension, also known as high blood pressure, is a common health condition that affects many people worldwide. It is a serious condition that can lead to various health problems such as heart disease, stroke, and kidney failure. Fortunately, 
There are several ways to prevent hypertension and maintain a healthy blood pressure level. In this article, we will discuss some of the most effective ways to prevent hypertension. 1. Maintain a healthy weight. Being overweight or obese is one of the major risk factors for hypertension. Therefore, it is important to maintain a healthy weight by eating a balanced diet and engaging in regular physical activity. 2. Reduce salt intake. Consuming too much salt can increase blood pressure levels. Therefore, it is important to limit salt intake by avoiding processed foods and adding less salt to meals. 3. Quit smoking. Smoking is a major risk factor for hypertension and other health problems. Therefore, it is important to quit smoking to reduce the risk of developing hypertension. 4. Limit alcohol consumption. Drinking too much alcohol can increase blood pressure levels. Therefore, it is important to limit alcohol consumption to a moderate level. 5. Exercise regularly. Regular physical activity can help lower blood pressure levels and reduce the risk of developing hypertension. It is recommended to engage in at least 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise most days of the week. 6. Manage stress. Stress can increase blood pressure levels. Therefore, it is important to manage stress through techniques such as meditation, yoga, or deep breathing exercises. 7. Get enough sleep. Lack of sleep can increase blood pressure levels. Therefore, it is important to get enough sleep by establishing a regular sleep routine and avoiding caffeine and electronics before bedtime. In conclusion, hypertension is a serious health condition that can lead to various health problems. However, by maintaining a healthy lifestyle and following the above-mentioned tips, it is possible to prevent hypertension and maintain a healthy blood pressure level. Hypertension, commonly known as high blood pressure, is a medical condition that affects millions of people worldwide. It is a chronic condition that can lead to serious health problems such as heart disease, stroke, and kidney failure. Fortunately, there are several ways to manage and cure hypertension. Here are some of the most effective ways to cure hypertension. One. Lifestyle changes. Making lifestyle changes is one of the most effective ways to cure hypertension. This includes eating a healthy diet that is low in salt, sugar, and saturated fats. It is also important to exercise regularly, maintain a healthy weight, and avoid smoking and excessive alcohol consumption. 2. Medications. There are several medications available that can help to lower blood pressure. These include diuretics, ACE inhibitors, calcium channel blockers, and beta blockers. It is important to consult with a healthcare provider to determine the best medication for your individual needs. 3. Stress management. Stress can contribute to hypertension, so it is important to find ways to manage stress. This can include practicing relaxation techniques such as deep breathing, meditation, or yoga. It is also important to prioritize self-care and take time for activities that bring joy and relaxation. 
4 Supplements There are several supplements that have been shown to help lower blood pressure. These include omega-3 fatty acids, magnesium, and potassium. It is important to consult with a healthcare provider before taking any supplements to ensure they are safe and effective for your individual needs. Five. Alternative therapies. There are several alternative therapies that may help to lower blood pressure. These include acupuncture, massage therapy, and chiropractic care. It is important to consult with a healthcare provider before trying any alternative therapies to ensure they are safe and effective for your individual needs. In conclusion, hypertension is a serious medical condition that requires ongoing management and care. By making lifestyle changes, taking medications, managing stress, taking supplements, and exploring alternative therapies, it is possible to cure hypertension and improve overall health and well-being. I hope you found this information helpful. Please consider subscribing and setting notifications for future updates.